वेलकम टू नॉन स्टॉप सेंस चैनल Thank you for that introduction Akshaj. Let's get started right away. See when we think of space, we come across different terms. Say for example universe, galaxies, stars, planets, moons. Are they all quite clear to you? See, let's imagine the whole universe as a big container. Okay. In that container, hundreds of billions of galaxies mm -hmm. in each galaxy hundreds of billions of stars oh interesting planets revolve around the star okay. and rotate by its axis which one rotates by its axis all the planets Oh, the planets rotate by its axis and they also revolve around the sun. <coughs> there are two movements here. Okay. Moon also revolve around the planet in its orbit. Oh, moons revolve around the planets. So, to set right the understanding, we have a big container universe, lots of galaxies. And in each galaxy, lots of stars, planets go around the star, planets also rotate by themselves and moons go around the planets. Nice. Okay. Okay. What about the solar system in the arrangement you talked about? The outer arm of Milky Way galaxy. Oh, Milky Way is a galaxy. Okay. So, out of hundreds of billions of galaxies present in universe, Milky Way is one and the solar system is present at the outer arm of Milky Way galaxy. Is that what you mean? Okay. Alright. Um, fine. Can you explain more on this sun as a star and other planets in the solar system? Sure, Bob. Here we go. This is the scale of universe. The entire solar system. So here we see the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Pluto is not in the planet list. It's a dwarf planet. Now we'll see about sun. Sun is the uh, only one star in solar system. But many people think there are more stars in solar system. In Milky Way galaxy there are more stars. Sun is a big ball of fire. In the center of the solar system, it is made of gases. Next, we'll move on to planets. The first planet is Mercury. It is the smallest planet in all the major planets. It is the closest planet near the sun. It is the first planet from the sun. Hmm. Next we will move on to Venus. Venus is the hottest and brightest planet. The second planet from the sun. Venus is called the sister planet of earth. Because it's about 
three fourths the size of Earth, and they are close to each other. Now we will move on to Earth. Earth is the third planet from the Sun. It is the largest of terrestrial planets, and it has seventy percent. Water and thirty percent land. It is the only planet that supports life, so we should be careful and protect in it. Earth has only one moon. By the way, I forgot to tell you, Mercury and Venus don't have moons. Next, we'll move on to Mars. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun. It is called the red planet. It has two moons. Next we we'll move on to Jupiter. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun. It is the largest planet in the solar system. It has it is made up of gas. It's a gas giant. It has sixty plus moons. The largest moon called Ganymede. Now we are moving to Saturn. It's the sixth planet from the sun. It's called the ring or jewel planet because it has a ring around it. If the funny thing about Saturn is Saturn is the lightest planet in the solar system. When we put it in a river, it will not sink, it will float. The second largest moon in the entire solar system is Titan. Saturn is the second largest planet next to Jupiter. Next we'll move on to Uranus. Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun. It has a ring around it. It is also a gas giant and it is blue green in color. The last but not the least, we are in Neptune. Neptune is the eighth planet from the sun. So, it is the coldest and farthest planet from the sun. It is the fourth largest planet next to Uranus. Neptune is also in blue color. Let's go through some rapid fire questions, Akshay. Yay, rapid fire questions. Okay, let's get started. What is a planet day? The time taken by the planet to rotate around its axis. Correct. What is a planet year? The time taken by the planet to revolve around the star in its orbit. Correct. Which planet is the quickest one to go around the sun? Mercury. Correct. 88 Earth days. Which planet is the slowest to go around the sun? Jupiter. True. Around 12 years is what it takes to go around the sun. Which planet is the fastest spinning around its own axis? Jupiter. Yes. Just 12, sorry, just 10 hours is all it takes to spin around its axis. Which planet spins backward in its axis when compared to other planets? Venus. True. Which planet has the largest temperature difference between day and night? Mercury. Yes, Mercury uh, has the highest temperature during daytime. And it goes to freezing cold during night time. So the temperature difference between day and night is the largest. Okay. 
which planet has the most number of moons which is called the king of moons saturn correct there are about 82 moons confirmed so far as we speak today okay which planet has most of the robots sent for study mars true mars being very closest to earth i mean at least next to earth and uh, it's still rocky right it's not a gas giant or a liquid giant so we are exploring the possibility of living in mars so let's see why is mars called the red planet because it has lot of iron in its sand okay which planet is called morning star or evening star venus correct why is earth the only planet to support life because because it has gravity air water oxygen air is what you mean by oxygen rich air what else sunlight correct and uh, it's not really the hottest or the coldest as we see in other planets so the weather conditions also support so it's the water oxygen rich air sunlight gravity temperature all these are suitable in earth so that is the only planet where life is found a by the way the word gravity brings another question to me will our weights be the same in all the planets no why not because it have it has some other gravities correct each planet has a different gravity okay so gravity is the one which gives weight so which means your weight on earth will be different from that when you stay in another planet because the gravity is different for that planet okay now i have another interesting question are you sitting still now yes okay is the earth still spinning around its axis yes is the earth still revolving around sun yes is the milky way galaxy still swirling around yes now when all of these are still moving how come you are still sitting because the gravity keeps you down keeps you to the ground so the uh, gravity See, if i jump like this it again uh, it pulls you down, down to the ground correct so it's the gravity of earth that keeps you still when you are sitting though it's moving okay also in space there's no friction when they are moving that is why you are not able to feel the movement but you are still on the ride okay all right now which planet holds the largest volcano mars correct you know what it is three times the height of our mount everest now imagine you know how largest it could be okay what are terrestrial planets small rocky solid planets major closer to sun correct what are they mercury venus earth mars correct okay which planet has a red dot in it jupiter what is that it's a huge storm it's a giant storm it was there for 300 years it didn't die okay it it's still, sometimes it go bigger it goes it goes bigger and smaller correct so it's getting smaller or bigger but it's still alive not dying at all in fact you know what there is another junior red dot that is also getting formed next to this okay so jupiter is quite famous for that now the rings of saturn made up of ice yeah small icy chunks okay do the rings shine yes because of the sunlight yes so the rings shine because of the sunlight okay are there other planets that have rings yes uranus neptune but it's where the rings are very thin we can't see it okay they are thinner rings see uranus is very thin ring 
it has a very thin ring okay there is going to be a planet transit on this monday november 11th which planet is associated with that mercury so what is that mercury transit see when the mercury and earth is in the same alignment like this i'm not able to see can you just keep it horizontal ha okay. huh. ah yeah now it's okay okay go ahead if it's like this it's called mercury transit okay they are all the if this is happening on november 11th okay so this and this is quite rare too say for it okay see when mercury sun and earth they all align at a particular point and then mercury passes so we call that as mercury transit usually it happens in may and november about 11 to 12 times or so in a century so this phenomenon is rare okay and uh, mercury's orbit is kind of tilted so usually it orbits above or below the sun so only at a particular point or a particular time it comes straight near the sun and at that time earth should also be behind it so when it comes between sun and earth directly and then passes we can actually see that through the tel telescope as a dot okay this phenomenon is called mercury transit all right hey you said okay let's move on to some dwarf planets now we were talking about the major planets so far now you said the pluto was moved to the dwarf planet list why is that so because it 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 was small and dashing with neptune orbit okay so um okay how many dwarf planets are there five what are they ceres eris himaya hamaya hamaya maki baki and pluto okay in the dwarf planet list which one is the closest to the sun in ceres correct which one is farthest from the sun eris eris and which one is the biggest in the dwarf planet list ceres eris 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 i think that brings us to the close of this video Thank you so much for being part of this interesting quiz presentation Akshay. Indeed. Fine. Let's go ahead with the question time now. Question time. How many dwarf planets are identified in the solar system? Post your answer in comments column. We will feature correct responses. in our future uploads if you like these videos can you please uh, like share and subscribe thank you